Hey yo people, if you're watching the Amateur Pretzel, and this is not Minecraft, this is Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, it's not my first time playing it, it is actually second time. Game's been out for a while, and there have been some updates, and also I wanted to try something a little different this time. This time, I'm doing what I'm calling the Hufflepuff Challenge, and I will get into what that means in a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I've got my Ravenclaw shirt on right now. The first time I played, I was a Ravenclaw. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm going to be playing as a Hufflepuff this time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll get you some details about what Hufflepuff challenge is in a little bit. But for now, I've just got the mechanics up on the screen for you. We're doing hard difficulty. And I installed the Companions mod because I thought that would be an interesting way to refresh the, uh, the journey to see if you can get some new stuff going on. Which I guess actually bringing someone along with you is more of a Hufflepuff thing to do. I hadn't actually thought about that, but there it is. All right, let's get going. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Oh, the graphics are a lot better than I thought they were last time because I've got a better <laughs> hardware this time. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Bates. Smirk look on her face. <laughs> Set up. Now, while it loads, I'm gonna say I, uh, I'm somebody who likes to reread things. I like to reread stories that I've already read before, and uh, I feel like playing this game again is kind of like that. And I'm going through, and I'm seeing things, and I'm realizing that was set up right there. <laughs> Something I like to see. Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ramrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my That's one bit of pretty obvious setup right there. Significant threat. And it was your wife, Elia's aunt, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. I don't remember why this Ozzer guy is involved in whatever Eleazar's wife's doing. Do I? Maybe I just forgot, or maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe she wanted to keep her husband safe. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do not know. This bit right here. She, she looks behind the festivals up here. Seem better than the first time. What's this? Professor Fig! These carts are definitely better than the ones I imagined when reading the books. 
the vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most. I think I always thought of like one of those uh, rectangular minecarts, like I guess like the ones in Minecraft, but with like more than one seat. Uh, is what I'd always thought of, but this is pretty cool. It's a security measure. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <laughs> that was certainly unexpected. Here we go. It's about to get intense. Okay. Oh, ouchie. Oh, snap, come on. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Yes, the graphics are so much better on this hardware. Oh, yes. I like it. So the last time I played this, it was on my five-year-old laptop. <laughs> oh, but this is so much better. Yes, it is so much better. Okay. Uh, but uh, before we go to the next thing, which is probably going to be as intense or more than the next part, I don't quite remember. Um. I want to say that one of the one of the goals of the Hufflepuff challenge is a sort of different fighting style than I uh, found myself using my first playthrough, and part of that involves actually using Protego. So I'm gonna try to use Protego whenever I can during this fight. Yes, there is a weapon. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, I can make them all line up if I do this. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to. Oh snap! I missed the very first time. Alright. Did better that time. Didn't get hit once, I think. Maybe once. Maybe once. But that was pretty good. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I thought it was Oh, the graphics are so well. Okay. Oh, and here we go. Archway. Someone's coming. Who 
were they? Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Just standing there for wow. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seems wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are you? We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Okay. <laughs> she looks so nervous. Oh, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yes, actually. I'm looking forward to exploring the Hogwarts. And the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect uh, clearly on that which puzzles others. Uh, how? And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in How? I, I answered one question. I answered one question. I answered one question. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I was trying to pick the not raving about question. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, sir. I'm. Hufflepuff, okay? We're doing Hufflepuff. Loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Okay. I didn't realize that they would be that easy to 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 switch houses, but uh, there it is. So cozy. Look at that. Everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. It looks so cozy. Look at all that. The bed looks so soft. It's like fleshy quilt. Wow. Looks like a hobbit hole. <laughs> Get it? It's all bricks. Oh my goodness, that looks just like. The ceiling of a hobbit hole. Mm. That's so cool. And there's apples. Gee. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, can we see your whiskey so far? Those are the ones that make it flow, right? Anyway. This is about the right time, I think, to uh, tell you about uh, the Hufflepuff Challenge. So basically, the Hufflepuff Challenge is to try to play the game as Hufflepuff as possible, uh, both thematically and mechanically. 
But one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because, well, I've I've thought for a while. I mean, I'm a Ravenclaw. I've been a Ravenclaw for like ever. Um, but the last few years I've been thinking, no, I'm probably more like a Ravenclaw who's trying to be a Hufflepuff, you know, because Hufflepuff is great. Um uh, <laughs> anyway, so to figure out how to do that. I've got uh, a list of stuff that's from uh, the Sorting Hat songs uh, of traits, helpful pop traits. Just, loyal, hardworking, fair, patient, and good. All right, so thematically, that'll come into, like, interactions with people and beasts and other choices that happen in the story. Um, mechanically, that's mostly just working hard to improve the, the character's skills. Um, which involves things to do, like, leveling up-wise. Like, collecting field dead pages, ancient magic stuff, and the demigod statues, once those come into play. Um, and also, uh, using Protego instead of <laughs> dodging everywhere. Uh, <laughs> my first playthrough, I did a lot of running around and dodging. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious, but uh, also kind of slow. And I also want to see if I can uh, get better at using the tab wheel, because I hardly ever used it in my first playthrough. I want to see if I can uh, actually use potions and plants in an effective way. So, with that said, let's go. Oh, there's a little pot of sunflowers. That's cool. Guys, it's literally a hobbit hole door. It's a round door. Oh, that is adorable. Okay. Um. I suppose some introductions we need. Ah, inter uh, interactions. I guess this is actually the first thing. Oh. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your elf? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't oh, imagine that. wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Yeah. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. Sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenore Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? So much talk about Ravenclaw. <laughs> they both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. <laughs> well, you know, the, the houses have more in common with people, tend to think. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. In my opinion. Adieu! And after all, people don't all fit in uh, one house or another perfectly. It's Poppy! Hmm. I wish you could actually talk to her. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. So that part in uh, the trailer was something that I thought uh, did not bode well for the story of it, because ensuring success is not... Uh, Oh, wow, that is cool. 
Um, it's not something you really want to have in a story. But this actually takes effort to make it happen, so it works out. Using the guide will also train you to be a stepped on the pot. Do keep up. I'd say Professor Frigg succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Frigg said. Speak of the devil, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions. Though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details it with her. Uh, that would be better left. Uh, a little bit is a bit of an understatement. All right, here we go. Susie. Oh, my thing. Oh, peeves. Oh, thank you, pig. Here, behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. All right, all right. Very good. All right. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. That is how it's done. Hey. Splendid. Let us see this. Very good. Very good. Oh, I think there was a glitch last time or something, but it took me forever. Let us make this a bit more interesting. Actually, no, there wasn't a glitch. I just couldn't figure out how to let go of the charm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> How so? Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. There we go. All right. Excellent. Let us see this. Hey. Nicely done. Bisha. That is how it's done. Yes. Ooh, lost it. Happens to the best of us. It's all right. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. It took me <laughs> weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Oh? Rebellion. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basic Cards, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Went too early. This should be easy. How perceptive. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'll just wait for him to go, and then I'll protego, and then I'll go. This be easy. Protego. Okay, this can't be your first jewel. Oh, come on. Excellent defensive skill. Ooh, I'm on hard difficulty. That might be the difference here. This should be easy. Let's just say I'm a quick man. I do need joy in life, too. 
so good. Not bad for a beginner. That seems like Gratega was gonna be <laughs> uh, important. Seems like Gratega was gonna be important for actually. That's smart. Okay. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. Hold on. I saw something over here. Rebellion. Where was it? Right there. Very good. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Vee. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander, will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. There we go. This is the right area. I wonder what oh. the nine pages. Maybe I'll see. Alright, now one more page. Gotta go through here, it looks like. The flying page must be around here. Here it is. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. 
You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Looks like he's having a really fun time with those paper cranes there. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Don't tell me find me if you stumble on something in Loom. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's okay. nearby. I think that's... Uh... Yes. Gregory the Smarmy, I think. Let's get you back there he is, this guy. What is right? Hey, hey. Who's casting Lumos on it? Lumos. I should tell Lenora that I've solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Hello, looking for me? Hold on, I'm just sit. All right, anything that looks weird at all, uh, cast Rebellio every time. gonna have to end it there for today because this video is already way very long so um next time we're gonna go into hogsmeade but until then i've been the amateur pretzel thank you for watching and stay hydrated bye